Today, we're gonna to show you how to replace any sky in Photoshop, making your photos more interesting. So here we are in Photoshop. Now, I love this photograph. Our subjects look great, but as you can see, there's like no detail in the sky. Now, the sky, as you can see, the sun is at a pretty low angle here, okay? The sun is nice and low in the sky. And so what we need is a photograph where the sun is also nice and low. That's one of the most important things to look for is matching basically where the sun is in those photos. So I went ahead and found this stock image. We're looking at this guy here. I'm gonna just click and drag this right into Photoshop. So let's go to the sky and click and drag it right in. By the way, if you wanna follow along with this tutorial, you can download this PSD and these sample images totally for free. Just click on the link right down below. All right, we're gonna hit enter. Now, as you can see, this sky, the, the sun is pretty low in the sky. I can't really see it, but we get the idea, right? This is like a sunrise or a sunset type of sky. Now, at first you're gonna be like, dude, that sky does not look at all like this picture. And you're totally right, it doesn't. But we're gonna give you some amazing tips on getting the sky to look beautiful with our image. Basically, we need to adjust our light levels. We need to adjust the color levels. But the first thing we need to do is mask this. We need to make sure it's only visible where the actual sky is visible. So how do we do that? Well, all we have to do, let's go ahead and turn off the sky layer. We're gonna click here on the background layer. We're gonna go to select and then down here where it says sky, select sky, boom. There we go, and the sky is selected just like that. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and turn on the sky layer. What I like to do is put this in a group. So I'm gonna hit controller command G to group that together. So the sky is in a group now with itself. And you can even put multiple skies in here if you want to. Okay, now you can see the selection is still active from when we clicked on our background layer and went to select and select sky. The selection is still active. So now if I click on the group and then I go right down here and click on my layer mask icon, boom, click there. And now you can see that the sky is only visible, this layer that says sky is only visible where the sky was in our background because the layer mask for the group is telling it where to be visible. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take this layer. We can hit V for our move tool and I can move this anywhere around and you're gonna see it's only gonna be visible where the sky is. I can even hit control or command T for transform. I'm gonna go up here where it says width and height. I'm just gonna click and drag to the right there just to make it a little bit bigger. There we go and bring that up. Something like that is gonna look really, really beautiful. You can bring it up even higher. Okay, now you're gonna look at this and say, Aaron, that looks horrible. It doesn't look like it works at all. You're totally right. What we need to do is adjust the light levels and we need to adjust the color because what we gotta remember is that the sky in our images actually lights the subject. Like the rest of the light in this photograph is coming from the sky. So if the sky is this color and the rest of it this color, of course it's not gonna work. So we need to adjust the light levels and the color levels. Okay, now keep in mind this sky is a smart object. The reason it's a smart object is because literally what I did is I just clicked and dragged this JPEG right in there. If the sky that you're working on is not a smart object, you wanna go ahead and convert it to a smart object. And you do that by clicking on that layer and then you go to layer down to smart objects and over to convert to smart object, okay? Mine already is a smart object. You can tell that by looking at the smart object icon. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is use levels. Now levels are a great way to adjust your lights and dark. So I'm gonna hit control or command L for our levels or you can go to image down to adjustments and over here to levels. Either one will work, okay? And I'm gonna take my center point and we're just gonna click and drag this to the left which is just gonna make it much brighter. Now, part of you thinking, okay, cool, it's way brighter. I liked how dark and colorful it was, but here's the reality is you gotta make sure the sky matches that original photograph. And in the original photograph, the sky is really, really bright. That doesn't mean we have to have a pure white sky, but if we don't use this levels adjustment layer, it's never gonna look good. Like this is never going to look natural until we make that sky nice and bright. And already you can see it's much better. Now, the other thing is the color, okay? You can see a little bit of this like yellowish green haze through the trees and over here like that. We gotta bring that color into the new sky, okay? So for that, we're gonna go to image, down to adjustments, and we're gonna go right to where it says color balance. If you just wanna adjust your colors, this is a great way to do that. So color balance, okay? 
Now here, we're just gonna pull this towards yellows because I knew I needed yellowy and kind of greeny. So let's go ahead and take our yellows. We'll just drag that over here. Boom, all the way left. Look, it's already looking so much better. We're just gonna drag a little bit of greens in there and we can even work on our reds or magenta. And sometimes if you don't know how you wanna do your sky, just kind of click on any one of these sliders and drag it left to right. Don't forget, you can control your shadows, your midtones, and your highlights. So let's go to each of them. And like literally, you can click on any one of these and just scroll left and right and be like, uh, is that better or is that better? You can like literally just kind of click and drag and get an idea of what's actually making your image a little bit better. There we go. That's looking really nice and good. Everything is starting to like blend in together. And we like that. Let's go to our shadows. And then we're just going to adjust this slider right here. So don't forget, because we did actually a smart object in this case, then we can just change this at any point in time. So if you're not sure, if it's not exactly what you want, that's not a big deal. You can just use a smart object. Now keep in mind this guy, I can move it around at any point in time. Already that's looking really, really good, right? So check this out. I have my sky, which is a smart object. I have my smart filters. I can turn off the color balance. Look at that big difference we made with color balance. Already looking really good, okay? And our levels, I can turn that off and on as well. And if I wanna go back and adjust these, all I have to do is double click on the word, like levels, I can just double click there. And maybe I'll just make it a little bit even brighter and then hit okay. And then we can see that looks really good. Now, one thing that I also recommend is we wanna fade from the original sky into our new sky. So for that, we're gonna click on this layer. Okay, let's go ahead and add a layer mask to that layer. So we have the layer mask, we'll have a layer mask for the layer. And then keep in mind, we're still inside of this group, which is just the sky selection. Okay, now on this layer mask, we're gonna hit G for our gradients tool, right over here, gradient tool. We wanna make sure it says regular gradient. And then here, we wanna go into our basics and we wanna choose the black to white, okay? We wanna use a linear gradient right over here and we're gonna just go straight down, up, okay? And this is just gonna help it fade into the new sky. So you can see I could take this bottom point here and bring it in there. And I can just kind of choose how this fades into the existing sky. So the idea here is that we're not trying to like bring this totally new, crazy, different, different, different sky in here, okay? What we want is just a sky that like really does fit with the original theme of the image. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into my levels, double click there, and I'm gonna go right here where it says our blue channel. And I'm just gonna take this slider and bring that down, which is gonna add a little bit of yellow into my highlights. There we go. I think that's gonna look really, really nice. And look how nice that looks. So I can just turn these smart filters up. This is where our sky looked like originally, okay? So if you're ever thinking, wow, how am I ever gonna get this sky to fit? Well, just using literally levels, okay? And color balance, you're gonna be able to make a huge, huge difference. And then don't forget, you can take this guy, I'm gonna unlock with the layer and the layer mask, and I can just move this around at any time until it fits exactly where I want. I can hit Control or Command T. I'm gonna just scale this up a little bit, kind of move it around. And don't forget, you can always hit Control or Command T for transform. Okay, I'm gonna go to Window and then let's just turn on our contextual taskbar. So Control or Command T, and then I can flip this horizontally if I want to, right? So sometimes you want it like that. Sometimes you want to hit Control or Command T, flip it the other way around. I kind of like it like that and kind of just move it right down there. And then like beautiful, right? So now what we have is, and I just wanna make this a little bit bigger. Make sure you always scroll out and kind of look at your image as a whole. I think this is just like stunning. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. And we went from this where it's like literally a beautiful photograph, just no detail in the sky. And now we have all this stunning detail in the sky. And it just makes the whole image look really, really nice and pretty. And we've matched this original sky. Let's just click on the layer mask to disable those. This was the original sky, boop, 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 just a couple adjustments and now it fits perfectly. And that's really all there is to getting any sky to fit in any type of image. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give us a big thumbs up if you did. Let me know in a comment down below what you would like to learn next. We read all the comments and we make the videos based on your suggestions. And if you wanna get more advanced Photoshop knowledge, check out Flurn. Pro, we have an exclusive discount for you right down below. It's over 15 years of advanced tutorials available for you. Thanks so much, and I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone.